Good morning. Okay, we are diving into breakfast. If you saw the live that I did yesterday, I said this entire week, we're gonna talk about just different options for you. Today is breakfast, we'll do a lunch one tomorrow, we'll do a dinner one the next day. So all we're gonna talk about is some breakfast options for you, what your morning could look like. And if you're just starting on this keto low carb journey, I posted two links in the video description above that you can click on and watch some videos from the past that explains just how to start this journey. And so feel free to go over there and just watch those videos because that will help you just get in the mindset of like, I'm starting this, I wanna feel better, what do I do? So there's two links in the description above so you can watch those. Otherwise, we're gonna dive in really, really quick for breakfast. So Amelia, so I've got sausage behind me. Actually, I think it's done. But a lot of people have different viewpoints of what you should do. So, actually they're not done yet. If you don't have an air fryer, I talk about this all the time. Lily, you can shake up your ketones. You need to grab an air fryer. She is mixing up her ketones. So the girls drink ketones every morning. Which one are you making? So, true passion. So she's drinking her ketones. How is your morning going? Where are you tuning in from? And I would love for you to share, like, what do you do to start off your morning? So she shook these up in some water. Uh, this morning I woke up and usually, so I slept in a little late. I didn't go to the gym, but I worked out in my basement. So I work out. I work out right away in the morning. I drink some water and I drink ketones. That's it. And then it's already 10 o'clock. So almost our day is running a little late, right? Um, but what we love to do is I love to throw sausage in the air fryer. So everybody's a little different. We're going to talk about intermittent fasting. We're going to talk about fat coffee or actual breakfast. When we first started this journey, what did we do with the cereal? Oh, we like, well, we ate it until the box was gone. Once the box was gone, she was going to buy it again. Right. So four years ago, uh, we just said, whenever this box is gone, we're not going to buy it anymore. That's kind of how we transitioned even our kids to eating better. So once the cereal was gone, we didn't buy it again. Once the granola bars were gone, we didn't buy them again. Once the donuts were gone, <laughs> like that's what we did four years ago just to help us every single day move into a better spot. So we love Costco. So every morning I throw a couple of these sausages in the air fryer. Um, sometimes we'll put bacon in the oven. I, I probably do that every single day for the girls. I just instinctively get up. After I'm done with my workout, when I'm waking them up, I throw it in the air fryer, I throw it in the oven, and that's what we do. And then uh, I throw it, we homeschool, so we don't have to get out the door at a certain time, but then I throw them right here on the counter and they eat throughout their morning. That's just what they do. You can have some eggs. Sometimes, like, we'll have egg bites. Uh, we'll make scrambled eggs. You can have hard-boiled eggs. Here's the deal. A lot of people are like, I need something quick, fast, on the go, to get out the door. So I tell people, make make this, make some bacon, make like an egg bake, make some little muffins, like little egg muffins, and keep them in the refrigerator so you can grab them, zap them in the microwave, and out the door you go. When we're in a hurry, and this is where the air fryer comes in handy. Like, I'll throw sausage in the air fryer, right girls? She puts them on a plate. I put them on a plate or in a bowl, and we grab forks. That's why it's great to have plastic forks in your house and we shoot out the door. And so like, I just put them in a bowl or in a little Tupperware, everybody grabs a fork and we pass the bowl around in the car as we're going somewhere. So like, that's our, our breakfast on the go, right? The girls shake up their ketones, we grab bottles of water. So that's just an option for you, okay? Some people do, you can, you can go sit down if you want. I told her I wanted her to share. So uh, we're getting ready for the morning. Um, this is what I tell people is kind of most people's breakfast options. It was hard for me to get this so you could see it. So what do you do? Do you drink fat coffee? What is fat coffee? Co fat coffee is like, let's get the sugar out of your coffee and let's replace it with, there's two options. Oh, and the sausages are done. You can replace your coffee and the sugar and the creamer with like MCT oil, which is coconut oil and butter. So some people will take a little bit of butter, like a tablespoon of butter. We'll take a tablespoon of MCT oil or coconut oil and they'll blend it up so it gets your good fats up, keeps you fuller longer. You can put, put a couple drops of stevia in there to help with the sweetener, the sweetness of it. So that's in a sense what fat coffee is. So it helps you stay full, it's not full of sugar, 
or you can drink keto cream, right? So this is like fat coffee in a packet. You pour it in, you mix it up, and you go. So a lot of you see me mix up my better broth in the morning. So I just put it in here, I mix it up, and it's super great. So that's an option for you, is fat coffee in the morning, and then you go until you're hungry. Some people eat a late snack, some people won't eat until lunch. That's very similar to intermittent fasting. I'm not sure if you can see this. IF stands for intermittent fasting. So people will stop, so if you intermittent fast, or if you're, if you're looking into it, you'll stop eating dinner the night before around seven or eight, and you won't eat till today, lunchtime. So you can count your, some people wait 16 hours, some people, it just depends, everybody's a little different. But there are two different ways to intermittent fast. There are people that believe you can't have anything but water. So intermittent fasting is you stop eating, you are fasting throughout the night and into lunchtime, and you don't eat anything except for water until lunchtime. Actually, there's three types of people. Then there are people who like, nope, I'm gonna intermittent fast, but I'm still gonna drink my ketones until lunchtime. This will help with your appetite, your cravings, suppress all of that uh, to get you to lunchtime. And then there are those who will drink their coffee and they'll add uh, their, they'll have their fat coffee, they'll add their butter or their cream or whatever they wanna do. Here's the deal, it's not one way is the right way, it's whatever works for you, right? That is just a, hey, I'm not gonna really eat food, but I'm going to drink something. So you could either drink coffee, you could start your day off with intermittent fasting and add coffee. You could have something like eggs, bacon, sausage, an omelet, hard-boiled eggs. Like if you're always on the go, make an entire case of hard-boiled eggs and grab this on the go. It's super, super easy. The point is not to have a breakfast full of carbs and sugar because you're gonna go, ah, and you're gonna crash and you're gonna feel like garbage. That's what a donut does to you. It might taste great for 30 seconds and then Oh, you have the hurt pit stomach and you don't feel good. Right, girls? Yeah. But it tastes so good. Don't do it. And if you're in your office right now, you get away from those donuts and you say, the 30 seconds of, the 30 seconds of yumminess is not worth the stomach ache. I just tell myself that. What? For an hour. Or for an hour. She said, the 30 seconds of like yumminess is not worth the hour of a stomach ache. My kids know. Like they do the same thing. They'll eat it and they'll go, Oh, my stomach hurts. I'm like, I know. Oh. So, and then lastly, I wrote protein. So I have people that go, I just didn't know what to grab. So we've got cheese sticks in our fridge. You could do beef sticks. Like Costco has something called Duke's beef sticks. Like it doesn't have to be a breakfast option. So like if you're in a hurry, if you're on the go, grab something. If you, if you need to eat something in the morning, I'll say, girls, grab a cheese stick, grab a beef stick, grab a handful of nuts. Like if we're in a really big hurry and I didn't make my sausages in the air fryer, we'll just grab something and we'll go. Uh, some people ask about protein shakes. So um, there's something coming probably very soon uh, that we're really excited about. But until that comes, we do sometimes have like a whey protein isolate. I think that's what my husband usually orders, like a vanilla or a chocolate, nothing fancy. He just gets something off Amazon. Uh, sometimes we'll just blend it like the girls love to have like unsweetened almond milk and I'll throw some I think one of our daughters has a chocolate one right now just a scoop of protein so that's an option as well you could add a little bit of MCT oil in there if you wanted to so just think sugar and carbs no grab something else that will help you feel better right that's not going to cause you to crash right away in the morning and at the end I said drink some water because when you wake up most people are dehydrated so my husband always says Stephanie Go grab two cups of water before you start your workout. I don't love to do it. it. makes me want to gag. I don't know why. I hate waking up in the morning and slamming some water, but I know it's super good for you. So that's how we start our morning. That's how we've started our morning for four years. Like, that's what I do. That's just what we do. I don't know. The kids don't question it. They don't ask for cereal. They don't ask for donuts unless they're at somebody else's house. How do you start your morning? Do you intermittent fast? What do you put in your coffee? Um... Do you make, do you have like a favorite recipe, like a muffin, like a keto muffin recipe? Like we do keto pancakes, we do keto waffles, we do all those things, but those things take time. So usually those, I find that people save those for a Saturday or a Sunday. But in between your weeks, when you're in a hurry or you're getting up in the morning, how do you start your day? How would you like to start your day? Share some of your favorite recipes or ideas below. And that's, this is our breakfast video, okay? So I said I would help with breakfast. Let's share some ideas. Collaboration is currency, meaning this isn't just about my ideas. I wanna hear yours as well. So share with people so they can scroll through and get some ideas, maybe see a recipe or two. 
This isn't about giving you 30 different options for breakfast. This is about getting your mindset to go, I'm gonna choose better. I'm going to make the best, the best choice possible. I wanna feel great going into lunch and dinner. I'm gonna have a great day, long sustained energy. Drink your water, always have a water bottle by you. And then again, if you're here and you're just starting, I posted two links, two videos in the comment, in the little video description right before I started this video. So you can click on those and watch those to help you just start this journey. So I appreciate you all. We have to go start school. You are not allowed to go outside. We've got to go start math. Okay. Appreciate y'all. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.